that was Christ's gospel message. Christ in the scripture said that he came to die for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But that's right. Brother, but that's right. That's right. You have to understand we've been around these brothers, man. But this is what you have to understand. And you have to build the gospel. You have to build the gospel, bro. Christ himself never had the gospel revolve around the white man being the devil. The gospel was revolved around him. This was how to treat people. How to walk amongst people, how to be, how, how to have righteous judgment, how to do, do mercy and, 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 and feed the poor and deal with the, the widow. Make sure that people are fed. Honoring your brother as you want someone to honor you. That was the core gospel. But these guys, their whole gospel surrounds around the white man and the devil. It seems like they're trying to make, trying to start a fire to get people to follow. You understand? Because Christ is just too, you know, he, he was too plain. They need to try to, it's just like a hook. They just the white man and the devil as a hook. To convince people, to get people, to draw people up. To feed on your hatred of other people. Let me tell you, brother, if you're confident in yourself, if you're confident in the gospel in Christ, you don't have to bash every man. You don't have to come down because you're confident in the spirit of Christ. If that any man do wrong, or right, Christ is going to judge them. So why should I come down on for? Well, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Get Acts 15 and 14 because you have to understand the full gospel. I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to show you what they teach first. And then I'm going to show you the understanding of what they're missing. Get, at, get, get Matthew 15 and 23. And Matthew 10, 5 and 6. Well, there's many things you don't know, but you want to find out. Let me show you what they teach. Get Matthew 15 and 24. Read. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ was only sent to the lost sheep. That's true. To the house of Israel. That's true. Because how can the Gentiles be lost when they didn't have the lost of the commandments? The lost sheep of Israel. Right? That's why the gospel says, and that's why the Bible says the true Christ in the Gentiles. How can you establish a kingdom when the people of the kingdom are lost? So Christ had to establish the people first. But before he died, this is what they don't bring out. Before he died, he said this. Go to Matthew 28. Exactly. He told them, don't go into the land of Samaria. If the land of Samaria enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He came only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's true. But this is something else he said, though. You with me? Matthew 28 and 19. Read Matthew 28 and 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. And do what? Teach all nations. We have to teach all nationalities. We have to be a lot to the nations. Edom is a nation, brother. Christ commanded that the same Christ that says only go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why? Because he had to establish the Jews and his disciples first. You have to, dis you have to first set up the teachers. Then you go out. When? Baptize him up in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That's the commandment, brother. Before, when he was crucified and came back, he gave the disciples a new sanction now. I need you to go out throughout the whole earth, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Nation. All nations. All nations. So they just pinpoint one scripture and make their whole doctrine around that. Instead of teaching the full understanding of Christ. How can the Gentiles get in the of Israel if they can't follow Christ? They showed you all the scriptures that only pertain to Israel, but there's a reason. Why didn't, why, why didn't they show you all the scriptures that pertain to the Gentiles? We'll do both. So we're not saying them teaching that Christ came for the Israelites are, is incorrect. But it's incorrect if you don't teach both sides. That's what makes it incorrect. They said that God hates the white man. What else do God hate? Is that the only thing God hates? It seems like everything revolves, that's what I'm showing you. Everything they teach revolves around the white man. 
What else do God hate, brother? Can you show me some scriptures that they showed you other things that God hate? Give me some scriptures. I mean, they came on down on the black woman, too. They come on everybody that ain't walking according to... Exactly, but the whole thing is this, brother. <laughs> Here's the confusing part. They, they deal with all this different doctrine, right? But they don't deal with baptism. Was Christ baptized? Go to Matthew 3, chapter. Go to Matthew 3. So here it is, they, they bring in all this doctrine, but they're not even getting in. Because if you don't take the first step Christ took, Christ says you're not even going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. So what good is it if you have knowledge and don't make it? They don't thank you, but they're not following Christ, brother. So we don't care about how much knowledge you might think you have. If you don't, if you don't do the walk of Christ, you're not getting in. I don't care if you're an Israelite from head to toe. You can have the fringes, you can have everything. If you don't follow Christ, you don't get baptized for, for the remission of your sins, you're not getting in. That's why Christ told the Pharisees, you shut up the kingdom for those that will get in, and you're not coming in yourself. He told them, and those brothers, they got the spirit of Pharisees, man. They're not teaching the core gospel. You can't have an exclusive gospel that don't include the people that will be in the kingdom. That's wicked. That's wrong. Now you're doing the same thing you're claiming the white man is doing. Let's get it. Matthew 3. Read, read the 11 first. Matthew 3 and 11. I indeed baptize you with water. Go down to the 12th verse. Whose sand is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purchase his floor. That's quite right. sweet. And gather his wheat until, until the garden. Then come up Jesus from Galilee. Who came? Jesus from Galilee. What did Jesus do? To Jordan, unto John, to be baptized. To be what? To be baptized. To be what? To be baptized. I'll tell you, baptizing is reading the word of God. What type of madness is that? Baptism is, is, is baptismos. To be fully submerged in water. So how can they teach anything about Christ when they're not willing to do the work of Christ? When? Baptize of them. For John for Bainham. Saying, I have need to be baptized as thee. John forbade him, said, man, we need for you to baptize me. I need you to baptize me, man. For what did Christ say? And come as thou to me. And Jesus answered, said unto him, Suffer, that to be now, so now. That should be coming to us to fulfill in all righteousness. He says, do this right now, bro. Because it's up to us to fulfill all righteousness. So. Yes. Yeah, but, but did Christ get baptized? He did, but that's not baptized. What scripture is that? He said he was going to baptize you. I'm asking you, what scripture where Christ told us to stop baptizing the world? He never said that. Exactly. So why why do we change it? He baptizes the Spirit from on high, the Holy Spirit. Does that mean we don't baptize the world anymore? How did Peter baptize? How did Peter baptize, brother? You don't know, don't you? Go to St. John, the third chapter. Come learn something, brother. That's because the Holy Spirit will come down. Like it came down in Acts, the second chapter, and came amongst the disciples to give them the sanction of God throughout the whole.